Um, can we just find your balance point really quickly for me? Your balance point. I found it. Dang. <laughs> You've been practicing it. That's what happens when you get older. You know, students are always going to be better than the teacher one day. Okay? Okay, so here. Just wanted to be all this to your return point. <laughs> My name is Sage May. I'm 16 years old and I'm in the 11th grade. I sing and I play the cello. I've been at the Atlanta Music Project since I was 11 years old. I started at AMP as a violinist. I played the violin for two weeks and then I decided that I was gonna switch to the cello because I love the range of sound, all the different tones, the deep richness of it, as opposed to the violin. AMP actually wanted me to play the double bass because I was one of the taller kids, but I still chose cello. <laughs> My private lesson teacher, Ishmael Akbar, is amazing. He is extremely talented and knowledgeable in all things cello, and he's very, very kind, and he's always willing to go out of his way to help me learn more. I would say he's not strict, and that's helpful, and that I don't feel, like, beat down by him more, as I feel like we're kind of growing together. I feel like I'm very receptive to his teaching style and I appreciate it a lot. I don't know where to walk, don't know where to run, don't know how I've been acting lately, absent So I am here at AMP on Tuesdays. I have my private lesson, which is an hour. Then I come back on Wednesdays for choir rehearsal, which is from 6.30 to 8.30. Back again on Thursday for orchestra rehearsal, which is from 6.30 to 8.30. And then on Saturday, choir rehearsal is from 9 a.m. to 11, and orchestra rehearsal is from 11.30 to 1.30. So you're here all the time. Yes, I'm here quite often. <laughs> our teacher for senior youth choir, our conductor, Dr. Brittany Boykin, she is the real deal. Hi, that has nothing to do with what we talked about on Wednesday. What day is it? Saturday. It is Wednesday that I'm referring to. We did Ruby Caritas et Amor. Do you all remember that? I feel like we did that for almost two hours. Yes? Tennis and bass is high. Do you remember that? OK. Here we go. Let's try it again. Sopranos. Yeah. She's serious. Better. She does not play. She doesn't take any mess. <laughs> she can really make amazing things happen with us, and I really appreciate that, and I really respect that. Even though she's hard on us sometimes, I definitely see the results in the end. <laughs> When I am performing, whether it be by myself or with other people, I definitely internalize like the emotions coming through the piece. Um, a lot of the times during my solo performances, the recordings, if you look back, I'm making like these crazy faces, like looking really angry sometimes. And even when I'm in a choral setting, I'm like moving my arm just because I'm feeling the music in my body as well at the same time while I'm performing. So our conductor for Senior Youth Orchestra is Mr. Logan. I definitely appreciate what he does for us as a group. And then for sectionals, we have Mr. Matt. I've known Mr. Matt for a long, long time, ever since my first year at AMP. It's just easier to learn from someone that you know and that you feel comfortable with. And I think a lot of teachers at AMP are really good in that way. AMP 
definitely helped expose me to like more social environments. And when I first joined, I was actually talking to my friend about this the other day, how AMP has helped both of us kind of like break out of our shell. Mm -hmm. I would say when I first joined AMP, I was like a shy people pleaser. Now I would like to think I am not anymore. Maybe I'll be in the middle of everything surrounded by people or I'm completely fine doing my own thing. So I think AMP has helped me gain confidence. I have a very, very close friend at AMP and it means a lot to me to have made that special connection because I just feel like we have something that will last forever. Like I can still be old as dirt and I can still call up Kenny and be like, hey, do you wanna do such and such? Like doing everything with him is such a joy because we have so many similar interests meeting at AMP. We're both in the choir and then he's also homeschooled. So that's another thing that we share, but I'm just really grateful to have made that connection that I hope will be lifelong here. I have traveled a lot with the Atlanta Music Project. Most recently, I performed at Barry College for the ACDA Choir Conference, and I got to tour the college. It was really fun. The architecture and the buildings are beautiful. And then that same day, actually, I performed at the Mercedes-Benz for the St. Jude Benefit Gala. I've performed at Mercedes-Benz before, also for the Beloved Benefit, and I've performed on TV for Sister Circle Live a while ago, actually, but I've had a lot of fun runouts that I've been on with AMP, and I hope to do more, possibly outside of Georgia, possibly outside of America. Fingers crossed. <laughs> AMP is really special, given that it is tuition free. I think if you had to pay to be a part of AMP, it would be a struggle for me to be here right now. and. I wouldn't have learned all the things that I know now if it wasn't for AMP. So I think it's really special that they're putting music back into the youth when it's been like taken away from the school systems or it's like hard to find now. Like music education isn't something that's readily available, I would say, even though I'm homeschooled. <laughs> but from what I have seen, like just to be given the opportunity to learn music whether you wanna use it in your future or not, I think is really valuable. And to just have that choice, to have that joy as a child, just something fun that you can do and you don't have to pay a lot of money for it. All righty, I go. I go. So good morning, guys. I am so excited to see you this morning. We have some special guests today. We have Sainted the Trap Choir. They use their artistic gifts to really show love to a lot of popular songs, a lot of old school songs. So I am excited for you guys to experience that today. They're going to share. You guys will be able to meet them, ask any questions. These are people I grew up with. So all the seeds of rehearsal, of discipline, of musical education and entertainment education, it literally started with this group. So I would like for you to give a very big hand for Sainte Trap Choir. <laughs> Saint and Trap Choir, and, and a, a little bit of my history is, is stuff like this, a project like this, a program like this that helped me get my start. So I went to Northwest School of the Arts. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a church kid, so I naturally learned to sing just by growing up in a black church and, you know, learning by ear. But when I started going middle through high school, getting classical training, that really helped take me to the next level. Right? So what you're doing is really building the foundation for, for what you want to do. Anybody want to be artists here? Yeah. So, so here's the thing. You, you're not, you don't just want to be an artist. You already are that. Y'all know that, right? You already know that. So. This is Esperanza Spalding. She's a singer and a double bass player. 
I admire her because she does both. She does the instrument side and the singing. Um, I know all of these people. <laughs> That's Olivia. She's a double bass player. She graduated a few years ago. Um, this is Monica. Aunt performed with them a while ago. I want to be in a professional orchestra at some point in my life. Definitely perform a solo, whether it be a concerto or just a solo piece with an orchestra. I would like to write a children's book relating to music and like create, um, create a collection of artwork to be hung in a gallery. My life would be very, very different because I wouldn't have this outlet to express myself. I wouldn't have the opportunity to meet new people, socialize, travel to new places um, because AMP has definitely given me a lot of more opportunities than I would have if it wasn't here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Atlanta Music Project Center for Performance and Education. Uh, we're here for the AMP Youth Choir's Holiday Show. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Dante Rameau. I'm the co-founder and chief executive officer of the organization. And I just want to say that um, it's very humbling. We're very grateful for you all um, as families and supporters of our students here um, for letting um, us work with your kids, for trusting us with their musical and personal development. We really appreciate it. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to have our uh, associate director of youth choirs come up and say a few words. Um, she's been with us for many years now. She does a great job. I know that um, we're all very um, grateful for Brianna Johnson. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out this afternoon. Uh, today, you are here to hear our most advanced choral ensembles. This year's AMP Junior and Senior Youth Choirs are made up of 34 students in grades 5th through 12th grade um, from eight different counties. And these young musicians come together twice a week to learn and perform both standard choral music and songs representing their own communities. Today's concert will feature holiday music our young singers have learned and perfected in its uh, span of 12 weeks. concerts because it it kind of like gives you a little adrenaline rush it's like very exciting you get to show what you've learned over the course of the semester you get to perform with your friends you get to look your best it's like oh this is the final concert your best black and white I enjoy like like doing my hair and things like that um, and I also just like being, it's longer, like being together for longer than just a rehearsal, which is a couple of hours. We get to be together for a really long time. My grandmother gets very excited for my concert. She gets very hyped, but my mom is also always, she's always there. My family is very supportive of me and my musical endeavors. 